Yeah, there are art, smaller art run spaces that set up and often in the first instance to show their own work, you know, and that's fair enough, and that may well be also to sell their own work, mm -hmm. and then also to try and do cost recovery mm -hmm. through selling work. So, I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with doing that. It's just we don't do it because we cover our costs, we don't pay ourselves, we are volunteers, and it's not the model we're interested in, we're interested in experimental and... So yeah. the room, uh, RM Gallery started because that was the name on the door of their original space. Yeah. So every time it moves it gets a new, like it was room 103 and then room, yeah. and now it's just room because there's no number, it's the whole yeah. you know, floor. Um, so we get government funding and we um, have to do our own fundraising. Mm. So those tend to be, well the bulk of it comes from CNZ, Creative New Zealand. We've also got a, a supportive landlord. I think that makes a huge difference because one of the reasons that artist run spaces will mm -hmm. fold or falter is they lo they get a cheap you know mm -hmm. rental space and then for whatever reason the owners want it back or the rent goes up or something like that happens and that hasn't happened to us for quite you know been a, we've been here quite a while mm -hmm. and the landlord's really supportive it's it's, it's great mm -hmm. yeah he yeah. cares about mm -hmm. that we exist. Yeah. In fact, he helped us build the, the new wall. Yeah, which it takes all of us actually. Yeah. I don't know because, like, sometimes we get busy and sort of disappear yeah. for a bit. Yeah, we've got we have commitments in any reason why we might not be here. Yeah. Um, we found that that model of having a large collective mm -hmm. has worked really well because you know when you have a meeting and if you start with six and then two can't come, mm -hmm. you know it kind of it's not that much fun because you know you're then the ones who assign the jobs to yourselves mm -hmm. and, and so the more people you have the more you can distribute also across your strengths. So we like kind of vote for our favourite of the upcoming exhibitions and things and then the meetings and discussion of the things that we you know voted on really mm -hmm. and so we all like originally we have a say that's quite equal and then we discuss that. Well we, we, we are very supportive of the model of having an open that's the best way of being, we, we, that we've been able to come up with, of being able to open to all. And um, we recently went through our archive of old um, like film slides and scanned them all, and yeah. identified some of the works that a lot of people who have shown here in years past have gone on to have arts careers. So we need to acknowledge our role and like we help establish who gets to have a platform, and so. Yeah, I think we have a duty to make sure that yeah, yeah. those people are, like, it's not malicious. Well, I think we definitely bring our political and social justice mm -hmm. values to our collective membership, and that mm -hmm. um, is strong across both how we open up opportunities and then how we also assess those that um, make applications. So, um, yeah, we definitely bring values and politics into the without without saying this is our agenda because yeah. yeah. um, we also are about opportunity and um, and also at, at risk not in terms of being provocative for the sake mm -hmm. of provocation not that kind of risk necessarily but in terms of risk of exploration experimental so mm -hmm. um, it, sometimes the shows are amazing compared to the application and you've taken that risk because you think it's worth supporting that artist so mm -hmm.